dinosaurs. This game is so pretty. Whoa. Yes, little Jimmy. This game is pretty. Pretty deadly. So you need to be prepared. Prepared for the worst. And you need to learn how to PvP and get ahead of the curve. So here I am. I'll show you how. Yes, little Jimmy, this is Tech Tier. Oh my god. Welcome back to How Not To Be A Noob. Today, we are looking at the basics, the very basics, starting out in Ark. So, I'm going to go through the basics from level 1 to 25 and what you need to know. So, first up, you start naked. Naked is the day you are born, and you have some major shrinkage. But, uh... This is where the story begins. So first thing you want to do, this may seem strange, you want to punch a tree. And then what you'll find on the beach here are these stones. You'll find stones on the beach, pick these up, and these are your other crafting resource. And then with the wood, the wood and the thatch and the stones, create your pickaxe. So that's your basic, that's your first basic tool that you're going to need when you join Ark, is your pickaxe. After you've got your pickaxe, you're going to want to go towards a stone, a rock, and hit it with your pickaxe. And what you'll get uh, predominantly with your pickaxe from this stone is flint. And with the flint, you can use this to create a hatchet. There's a big difference between the hatchet and the stone pick. The stone pick is used for harvesting rocks for flint and metal when you find metal nodes, whereas the hatchet when you hit stones with it, it gets rocks from the rocks. It's a bit hard to understand at first, but basically these two different harvesting tools get get better resources depending on what they're hitting. So the hatchet obviously gets more wood from trees, and the pickaxe gets more thatch from trees. That's the basics of the pickaxe and the hatchet. The hatchet also gets more hide from dinosaurs, so when you kill dinosaurs, use this if you want hide. If you want meat, use the pickaxe. Next up, Bushes. So you'll see these uh, bushes all over the place. This is where you get fiber. This is where you get your fiber and your berries from. So you want to harvest these. Have no tool in your hand and you can pick the berries. And we move to the next level. Very nice. Have no fear, you've got your spear. And your spear is basically... It is obviously good for killing dinosaurs. So when you're early game in Ark, you want to be on the beach because there's less carnivores on the beach. So don't head inland just yet. Stay on the beach. It's safer. And what you want to find once you've got your spear is dodos. This is the reason the dodos went extinct. And you're going to want to harvest those dodos with your hatchet so you can get the hide from them. Because hide is the most valuable resource early on in Ark. So you want to get as much hide as you can. You can even throw your spear just for added badassery. And then harvest those bad boys with your hatchet. Or if you want meat, harvest them with a the pick. Now, I'm not going to go over how to level up really quickly here. If you guys want to see a quick leveling guide, I did one recently, go watch it. Around this stage, you want to learn your clothing. So you want to learn the cloth clothing so you can protect yourself. Gives you a bit of armor from the elements. And you want to learn a sleeping bag so you can put the sleeping bag down. So you've got a spawn point. It saves your position. So when you die, you respawn at the sleeping bag. So a sleeping bag is a really important thing to have early on. Get the sleeping bag down as quickly as possible so that you don't lose your position and if you die you spawn close back to where you were. Really, really important to put your sleeping bag down. So some good stats to put your first uh, points into are weight so you can carry more and it makes crafting much easier. You can also put stats into melee damage as it makes you gather more resources from the trees you hit and kill stuff much easier and knock out other players much easier. Movement speed's not a bad one because it means you can run away from dinosaurs much quicker. But I usually level weight, melee damage, and maybe a bit of health, just so you can survive a little bit easier. Now, if you're lucky early game, in Ark, you might find these Explorer Notes. These are something you also want to look for, because these Explorer Notes give you a bonus of 2 times XP for the timer you can see down the bottom there. So look for these boxes around the world. I'll leave a link with a map for them in the uh, video here for you guys, so you can track them all down. And this is what you want to do while you're leveling, because I missed it out in the leveling video, I should have put it in there, but it's not on the center yet, so it's not everywhere. So you get these, and they increase your XP boost too. And once you get this, make sure you craft stuff straight away. Like I said, I'm not going to go into details of how to level quickly, but make boxes, and that's the way to do it. Watch the video, and it'll help you out a lot. So level up, until you can make a bow. As you may say, 
Wait a sec, is an Ark a taming dinosaur game? Yes, it is, and uh, that's what we're gonna get to now. Okay, make a pick, make a hatchet, make a spear, make some clothes, harvest some dinosaurs, get some hide, get some fiber. Is that all? No, Jimmy, there's more. Much, much more. So when you get to level 15, you want to make a bowler and you want to make your bow. Craft the bowler. You need thatch, stone, fiber, and hide, so you use the hide that you got from the dinosaurs before. And the bowler is a beautiful, beautiful tool. I'll show you how it's used. So with the bowler, put it on your hotbar. If you see smaller dinosaurs, uh, you can actually stop them in the track. So if you're getting chased by a saber or a raptor, or anything small, even a parasaur, you can actually throw your bowler onto them, like this, and he'll be stopped in his tracks when he's not in the water. So now he can't move. So the bowler is a really important early game tool. Make sure you learn that early on, and then also learn your bow. And your bow is obviously really effective for killing these early teams to get that extra hide that you need. So once you get the bow, you just want to keep killing things. You want to kill as many things as you can to get up to level 20. Because level 20 is the, the level you want to get at before you can do most of the important stuff in R. So watch my leveling video because that will give you guys a bit of a guide on how to level up really quickly. But what I would say is don't try taming anything until you get to level 20 because it's going to get much easier for you. Just make sure you save up those narco berries. Because once you get to level 20, once you get to level 20, you can make a beautiful invention called Trank Arrows. But the basics for early game leveling, uh, if you don't watch my video, is craft storage boxes. Craft a ton of storage boxes. This will boost your XP quite substantially. And then once you get to level 15, craft up these rafts with the hide. These give you amazing amounts of XP. So there's some basics. In early game crafting, if you want to rush levels and get leveled up really quickly, craft these two. You'll need a lot of hide for the rafts, but it's well worth it. Now, once you get to level 20 and you can make these trank areas, what you're going to need to do is put down a uh, foundation. While you're leveling up, you can also craft your first house. It's probably a practical thing to do at the same time as leveling, because crafting your base components is uh, really good levels. But you want to build out of wood. Don't build out of thatch. Go straight for the wood. Just grind up to this level so you can make wood and make a little basic wood base while you're doing it while you're leveling up because this will give you really good XP so make sure you, you do that now be aware that wood is very very vulnerable it is not strong it is very easy to destroy Let's set up your little wooden base probably actually somewhere hidden in the bushes so no one finds it very easily just be aware you're not going to be in wood tier for very long hopefully because wood tier is very very easy to destroy it's not something you want to be in for a long period of time and there you go you've got your little base here you want to build up your base while you're leveling up just a little basic base like this to get yourself on your feet and in this base we're going to put a few things so this base isn't going to be great this is just an example so you want to put down a bed straight away this is your spawn point uh, unlike the sleeping bag this doesn't despawn once you respawn at it sleeping bags are one use this is multiple use and you also want to put down some forges Forges require stone, flint, hide, and wood to craft. So you want to put these down. And what the forges are good for is smelting metal. So this is going to be very important. You want to put down a smithy. This is very messy. This is just an example for you guys. But the smithy is your basic crafting station. This is where you make more advanced tools like metal weapons. You make metal tools. You make crossbows. You make rifles in here. And this is your go-to early game crafting bench. As you want a little campfire. So you can cook up some food. And you're also going to want to put down these here. These are called mortar and pestles. Now these are a survivalist best friend. This is where you create the narcotics to tame dinosaurs. So this guide is just a basics guide. I'm just going to run quickly over all the basics of Ark for you guys. And what you want to do is in these mortar and pestles, you put in those narco berries. While you're leveling up and killing stuff, you also want to save the meat from all the dinosaurs. Because what happens is it turns into spoiled meat after a time. You can see there it's got a timer. Once that timer expires, it becomes spoiled meat. This spoiled meat combined with these narco berries is what we use to create narcotics. Put your narco berries and your spoiled meat into your mortar and pestle and you craft narcotics. So once you're level 20, you make the narcotics at a much lower level, but level 20 allows you to make trank arrows at level 20. So these are your go-to taming, taming tool for early game arc. So make your trank arrows, make sure you equip them on your bow because they'll probably have uh, standard arrows equipped if you don't have, uh, if you haven't dragged them on there. And then, 
What you want to go do is find an early game herbivore. So you want to learn your trike saddle. Your trike is your first berry harvesting companion. There's a few dinosaurs that do it, but again, this is the basics. This is just going to get you guys started, get you guys on your feet. So you want to get the trike first up. Now this is the trike. So this is your berry harvesting beast machine. And so what you want to do is you want to find a trike for your first dinosaurs. You don't want to go for a hugely high level dinosaurs because they're going to take more trank arrows to tame. So you want to go for something a bit lower. So you want to find a trike. And sometimes you'll find them conveniently stuck on trees like this one here. This is a level 4 so we'll take this. It's a nice low level. And what you want to do is shoot them in the head. They take increased trank damage to the head. You got to be careful though because it takes more damage too. So body shots don't do as much torpor. But they are more effective. And it's about 5 seconds for this to take effect. So you can have a 5 second gap in between your shots. But torpor stacks so you can shoot as rapidly as possible. It just means it will take more damage. So find your trike. And then there you go. This is your first team. The trike. This thing is your harvesting machine. It's not the best harvesting dinosaur, but for early game, it's the way to go. And now what you want to do is you want to save some of your narcotics, and you want to put your narcotics onto your trike. And what you want to do is you can wait for your dinosaur to starve out so he eats all the berries at once, but for your early game team, it's not going to matter too much, so what you want to do is you want to put mejo berries in its inventory. So access your trike and put the mejo berries in it. These are going to tame the dinosaur for you. And as you'll see there, it's got a unconscious bar. As that unconscious bar goes down, it means the dinosaur is getting closer to waking up. When it gets to zero, the dinosaur will wake up. And then once it's woken up, obviously, it's not tame anymore. So you need to use the narcotics here and remotely use these to keep your dinosaur unconscious. And you can see there, it, it increases the unconscious bar there. And so you can see the taming bar there. It goes up very slowly on a, slowly, a low multiplied server. That's why you want to go for a low dinosaur to start with, because it is a huge grind. So this is your first basic tame. I'll show you guys something I prepared earlier. So once you've got your trike, harvesting becomes a lot easier. So you can saddle it up. The trike saddle costs 140 hide, 80 fiber, and 25 wood. So put your saddle, what you do is you actually, this won't be in there, so you put the saddle into the saddle slot on your trike and away you go. Here's a beautiful dinosaur for harvesting these berries. So you can see there I'm getting a lot of narco berries from this and all the different berries. So it's much quicker than picking by hand and this is where Ark comes into play. This is the point of Ark. This is what we, what we do. We tame these dinosaurs to make life easier on the island. And you can see there I've got a huge stack. Just transfer those to your player, graft them into more narcotics and from here once you've got your first trike the game gets a lot easier, so I recommend this be your first process and your first tame because you are going to get ahead of the curve by doing this and rushing this, especially if you're on a PvP so if you want to get higher levels up as quickly as possible. The early game tame that you can go for, if you got your bowler ready, is the Raptor. You can actually bowler Raptors and they're another pretty early game tame. I recommend getting one of these after you got your trike because it'll make it easy to get your trank arrows. Knock out your Raptor. Because your raptors are really good for killing stuff. Put meat in the raptors inventory. Or well, there's also another resource called primate. But you won't have much of that early game. The raptor is a really good early game carnivore. And this will help you kill a lot of things much easier. And you'll find these on the beach areas. Again a little bit inland. But they're not too hard to find. And they'll usually find you. So it's very fast to run around. It means you don't get tired. And your stamina doesn't run out. So raptors are a really good thing to get early game. As well as your trike. These are your lower end tames. This is what you want to look for early game in Ark. So many dinosaurs now, you need to know what to pick. And also, once you get to level 20, that's when you can upgrade your base to the stone tier. So stone is much more stronger and durable than, uh, than wood is. So you want to go to stone as quickly as possible. It's going to be much harder for people to break into your base. They're going to need metal weapons to do so. So you can just upgrade your pre-placed uh, building components by hovering over them and just clicking on them. And that'll replace them and give you some of the resources back. So just replace. Or you can build a new base if you wanted to. You don't have to destroy your old base necessarily. 
And around this stage, you're also going to want to make your hide armor. This armor gives you much more protection than the current cloth armor that I'm wearing. So hide armor is the way to go when you can make it, if you can afford the hide. Only if you can afford the hide would I recommend this. Okay, so that's the basics of getting started at the very, very early game arc. So you want to get your stone base up. You want to get your forge down, your smithy down, your fire down, your mortar and pestles down, and your bed down. And you want to get a trike, and you want to maybe get a raptor. It's probably going to help you out quite a bit. And look at him there. He just looks so keen. Plus he's in the arc artwork, so you've got to get one. And when you, when you join Ark, you've got to tame everything in sight. So once you've got these two things, you can start progressing inland a bit. Your next mission is to start getting metal. So these are the basics. This is the basics in Ark. Obviously, you don't want to be in stone tier for very long at all. So you want to get out of stone tier as quickly as possible. So you want to push past this and get to metal quickly. But I'll cover that in another video. So... Hopefully this gives you guys on uh, PlayStation or if you're just joining Ark an idea of how to quickly get started in Ark. I'll do a mid game to late game more detailed video later down the track. So hope you guys learned a thing or two from this and until next time you guys are legends.